Welcome back, okay, fans. Another game, Black Duchy versus Radovadra. Okay, Black Duchy going for Air Start is on Trojan Hills. And Radovadra also going for Air Start, which I've never actually seen on this map before. Surprisingly enough, but yeah. Double Air Start. Radovadra going a bit more defensive with the Avenger early on, while Black Duchy going for the starting Raven. And this one, I think that's going to put Black Duchy in a pretty bad spot. Right? Sorry. Oh, I see. That's that. Okay. So yeah, Redavadra is in pretty good position right now. Does have the early Avenger. He's gonna have an or sorry, early Swift. He's gonna have an easier time building up his base, avoiding getting harassed pretty quickly. And Black Duchy going for Swift of his own to try to counter this. Does have the Raven up, so if he gets air control at any point, that is gonna work. And oh, okay. Apparently, people want Flores to get on. Well, I can't. It's gonna take me a while to set up the sound so it actually sounds right. I suppose I could, it's just that I I have stuff, I have processing stuff and it needs to be handled, so... And I can't rely on the players waiting for me, because they never do. Anyway, Radovadra is going to be... Well, he's going to be trying to assault anyway, and... Sorry, Blackjack is going to try to assault, Radovadra is going to be able to defend against this decently well. He's going to lose a metal extractor, but at the same time he is going to be able to get rid of... He should be able to get rid of the Raven. Is it going to go down? One of the Ravens does... Okay, the Raven does go down, and Black Duchy also loses his Swift, killing one of Radavadra's, but still, it's... That worked out well. That worked out for Radavadra, so Radavadra's definitely ahead right now. But it is going to be kind of tricky. So right now, both players are trying to vie for air control, getting as many Swifts as they can, trying to get into a good position. A bit surprised neither player has built up a Chainsaw or Hacksaw or something. I mean, early economy, of course. I'm going to do that. A couple defenders are up for Black Duchy. Nothing up for Red Avatar other than a couple Lotuses, and that's not going to help too much. Not against Air, but someone is going to be switching to something else. Someone's going to be switching to a Land Factory at some point. Black Duchy switching over to Hawks. Very quickly switching to Hawks. He wants to make sure that he absolutely has air control here. Radovadra, on the other hand, might be switching to ground quickly this one. He is going to go in for a swift assault, just going raiding a bit. That actually will work out well. The Hawk's not up yet. And at the same time, Radovadra is being attacked by the Swifts. The Black Duchy decides to retreat a bit, and you have a nice dogfight in the center of the map, which is notoriously difficult to follow, but okay. It looks like Radovadra is winning out pretty quickly. Three on three. Actually, three on four. Four on two. Radovadra is definitely winning. All of Black Duchy's Swifts go down, and I think... None of Radovadra Swiss has gone down. Maybe he started with five and now is four, but yeah, that is... That is advantage to Radovadra. He's winning the air war right now, and he's probably going to stick with that. He is, however, switching over to Klugabot Factory. Black Touching, on the other hand, has not switched factories at all. That is going to be a... bit of a problem. At this point, Black Touchy still going for more Hawks, still going for anti-air. I mean, Hawks are pure anti-air. Swiss can hit the ground, so at least... That can be used for raiding, but Hawks cannot. So these Klugabot switch is going to be very powerful. However, the problem is Radovadra does not have quite as powerful of an economy as he could really use right now. It's going to take him a couple minutes to get the Klugabot factory, and it's going to have half as many Swifts being built per unit time compared to Black Duchy. So I think that might have been a bit premature. He probably should have gone a couple more metal extractors first, and then switched over. Get him a metal extractor here, maybe some over here. And then switched over to get the Klokobot Factory, but unfortunately he is not doing so. So he could probably still win Swift Hawk engagements right now if he attacked immediately. I don't think he's going to do so, though. He is starting to raid a bit. This one Swift is going around the side. No, not quite. However, we are going to get an engagement. One of the Swifts does go down. That's... Okay, at this point, Radovadra needs to attack with full force or just try to raid. One of the two. Point out Radar Vision and... Radovadra has no radar, neither does Black Duchy. Both players are completely void of radar. And this Klokobot factory, 20 minutes away from... 20 seconds away, sorry, from being done. Not 20 minutes away, that would be way too long. 20 seconds away from being done. And more Hawks and Swifts coming in. So Radovadra looks like he's about to lose air control, but he's also pretty much seeding it. He's going to try to get rid of a Hawk, though. He is going to be able to... He's going to lose a lot of his Swifts here. Gets rid of one of the Hawks. Or, not quite. Actually, yes, he does get rid of one of the Hawks, but at the cost of all of his Swifts. Actually, gets rid of a Hawk and a Swift. But his entire Air Force was destroyed in the process, and he's not building his air units as quickly as he'd like. 
He is getting a bunch of glaives though, but at this point, Black Touchy has retaken air control. Not sure if he's aware of this. He's not switched up his build queue. If he switches to build up Ravens, then I'll know for sure that he knows, but I don't think he does. I think he suspects that Radovadra still has air control. Radovadra is switching to some Hawks of his own, and at this point, Black Touchy going in for a bit of an assault. You will see what's going on. You will see that Radovadra has switched over to Cloaky Bots. So Black Touchy now fully aware of what's going on. And will he switch to Ravens? Yes, he has definitely seen it. Will he switch to Ravens? That is a very good question. Can I not disable map marks? I must have tried to do so. Okay, anyway, that is a very good question here. And I think, well, we see the answer to that now. Yes, he's getting both Phoenixes and Ravens. So the Glazer haven't got much of a chance. In the time it takes them to walk across the map, they are going to be attacked pretty hard. Either by Swifts or by... Probably the... I think the Phoenix will probably be done by then. Yes, it will. The Phoenix will definitely be done by then. So these Glaives... Yeah, good luck to them. Not sure how well it's going to work out. Radovadra is starting to fall behind here. He does have a Hawk up. But one Hawk against four is not going to do the trick. Well, two Hawks and three Ra th three Swifts. Raven is coming down the mic. And it is... It's going for that Metal Extractor. Once again, going to take that Metal Extractor out. Glaives continuing along the map, and the Phoenix is done. Another Raven being done. Now that Black Touchy's air control, he's just going to go for it, make the most of it, getting rid of metal extractors, probably going to get rid of defenses here and there, and getting rid of these Glaives very shortly. And there... Oh! Nice dodge out by Radovadra. Unfortunately, that did not work out. Good attempt, but didn't quite do the trick. So all the Glaives go down. Jethro's... Sorry, Gremlin's coming up as well, but still, that is... That's not good. That is, as you can see, Radovadra is in a really tight spot. Losing another Metal Extractor. That's, that's the one he did not have to lose. At this point, Black Touchy has twice the economy. Very nearly three, two and a half times the economy, really. Pushing out more and more Phoenixes. Using the Hawks just to get rid of everything that Radovadra builds up. Actually, even that Radovadra has actually managed to get some hits on retreat, but Black Touchy, no real concern. Going in with the Ravens. And it looks like he's going to go for a comp snipe with these Ravens. Yep, that's definitely what's going to happen. These Ravens are coming in, and they are going to go for the comp snipe. Are they going to go for the comp snipe? Yes, they are. One down, two down. I mean, it's going to take a couple more to kill that. But still, that commander is it's taking a lot of damage. And nice shot here. Couple Phoenixes attack here in the main base. Not going to do too much damage to, actually, these power plants. But they are stopping them from being used. That's the biggest thing. The solar plants cannot work when they're taking damage. There's a lot of energy that Radovadra very briefly does not have. But still, that's overdrive he doesn't have. That's general energy he doesn't have. He doesn't even have overdrive to begin with, come to think of it. He, he used a lot of energy from his reserves in order to produce units in the meantime. Now, how many gremlins does he have? He has two. Yeah, that's not going to help out too much, unfortunately. And Radovadra losing another Metal Extractor. Okay, Black Touchy has taken this game. I... Ground-based anti-air is not being built up quickly enough. Radovadra does not have the economy to build up Jethro's quick... Sorry, Gremlins quickly enough. And more and more Phoenix is coming in. and losing air control. Radovadra had air control for a little while, but unfortunately he ceded it while he was actually in control of the air. Not necessarily the wisest choice to do. I can kind of see why he wanted to do that. He figured, well, I'll just have air control, and then I'll switch over to ground and be the first one to do that, and then I'll win on the ground while my opponent's going heavy anti-air. Not a bad idea, but given that he'd already won the air wars, he should have probably scattered out to see what was coming up before doing that. Try to absolutely secure air control, but unfortunately not quite able to do so, and at this point, struggling. Very hard struggling. He's got four gremlins up right now. He's, well, one of them actually in a really bad spot. Decloaking itself right in the middle of the enemy force, and napalms, napalm everywhere. Taking care of that gremlin. The thing is, gremlins need to be in a very tight ball. And that's not happening here. Vada Vada sending him in one at a time. I think this might be a missed rally, actually. I'm guessing this is. I'm guessing he wanted to actually rally a unit, or move a unit here, and accidentally was selecting the factory in the meantime. A mistake I make all the time, but you have to be careful about that. Just keep, keep around the factory, and no, he has not changed that. I still suspect it's a missed rally. He probably wants to rally over here rather than rallying down to this section that really not going to do him any good. I don't know if he's paying attention to that though. Radovadra building up some more defenders around these metal extractors, but at this point, Black Touchy has switched. No, hasn't switched at all. He is sticking to air. Full air dominance, and 
even with that even with that anti air that Radavatra has, it's really not much. And in come the Phoenixes, taking care of all the defenders. Actually, he's gonna get you no, know, he's not gonna get rid of the commander. Not like that. But these sh Ravens certainly will. The Grem actually, one of the Gremlins does dodge out of the way. But even with that, another Phoenix coming in that will completely miss, unfortunately. Not quite the right way to get rid of the Gremlin, but the Gremlins, focusing on the Hawks, not the right choice. And down goes Radavatra's commander. It's... Oh, eight health left. That was way too close. Radavatra's commander, not quite dead. Even a Swift could kill it at this point, but... That... One more Shadow... Sorry, one more Raven will do it. Or half a dozen Phoenixes. That works too. Yeah, half a dozen Phoenixes. I can see that. It's... Yeah, it's gonna be painful. So, Phoenix is coming in, and... Why is... Seriously, why is he not just going for the calm kill? And at the same time, Black Touch's commander in his base, continuing to build up, getting more and more power plants, just getting more economy going. And down... Possibly go a few gremlins. Actually, these gremlins are proving harder and harder to kill. A few of them will go down here, though. A couple of them are gonna burn to death, but even with that... Are they gonna burn to death? Yes. Two of them do burn to death. But they do manage to kill a few Hawks in the meantime. Now, Radavadra can't easily regain air control, but he can at least buy himself a bit of time. I mean, if he manages to get a critical mass of Gremlins, that's going to be a problem for Black Duchy. But I think Black Duchy will probably catch on and sw quick, very quickly switch to ground. Not that he has a massive economy for doing that either. But he probably would just do a full switch to ground, take him a minute, build a factory, and then be ground wars from there. However, at this point, Radavadra not able to finish off the commander, because the commander has gone on to the main base. Now, sorry, Black Touch is not able to finish off the commander, but he will find it pretty soon. Doesn't care, though. Going for the metal extractors, that economy completely dead in the northwest side of the map. So Red Avatar's economy being knocked down again, and Black Duchy just needs to find the commander. Probably just going to go to the main base and deal with everything there. Try to get rid of these gremlins, and it's not working out too well. Unfortunately, he's not, he's not micromanaging the... The Ravens, Ravens, the Phoenixes, especially well. Phoenixes, you have to give them an order after you attack. Is notice the curve? That's kind of a default thing. It's probably gonna be fixed eventually. But right now, they move back as soon as the attack starts, so they have this curve when they attack. In order to avoid that, you have to send another, you have to queue another move order past the attack, so that all the bombs drop in a line. However, that's not happening. But it doesn't matter. These Gremlins are still going down to the shadows. Sorry, Ravens, all of them going down. I don't know why I was having these down with that in the first place. Yeah, going down to all the Ravens. So, no critical mass apparently for Radavadra. Trying to expand over to the northeast side of the map, but Black Touchy, still no radar, surprisingly enough. Neither player going for radar, which is really surprising. Black Touchy could just build a vulture. He could build a vulture and use that for radar across the map. He'd know exactly what's going on, have no need to guess. Not sure if he's just forgotten about the existence of the vulture, that's fairly easy to do in this game, honestly. To forget the existence of various units. But I think... I don't think he needs it. It would be nice. It would it would save time, but he's not going for it. And he is, in fact, going for more shadow kills on these gremlins. Although, one of the shadows does go down in the process trying to kill the gremlins. And possibly two. Doesn't matter, though. Radavadra's commander is actually not going to go down to that. The shadows are what he wants to use. The phoenixes are not going to kill the commander. Not by any means. But if a couple more shadows coming in and a bunch of swifts and hawks... Sorry. Yeah, swifts and hawks coming in for cover... Gremlins going for the Swifts, that is the target they want to go for. Radavadra's about to lose his commander. Shadow's coming around for swoop where there goes Radavadra's commander. It's completely dead. And Radavadra throws in the towel with the loss of his commander, figures that's it for the game. And that is game. That was a very interesting game, that's for sure. Sheesh, that was... I have never seen both players go for air in any game, let alone one on Trojan Hills. So... I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll have another one for you guys shortly, and maybe I can see about Floris. I don't know. I might have time. So stay tuned.